Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome to the channel where I make how to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to install the Java JDK on Apple Silicon Max and get some basic understanding of the JDK too. Apple, for some time now, no longer ships with Java pre-installed on Mac OS. But there's still some remnants of the default Java executable, but it does not point to any actual Java runtime to execute the command. Let me show you what I mean. So if I open up the spotlight command spacebar and then type in terminal I should get this now if I type Java dash dash version you'll likely see the same the operation can be completed and able to locate a Java runtime please visit java.com for more information on installing Java now if you want to compile debug or run some document generation plus other tools for Java, you would need to install the JDK or the Java Development Kit. Now there are several JDKs out there, but the most popular one is the one by Oracle, which is the Oracle JDK. So to get that, simply go to oracle.com forward slash Java. And from here, click on the Java, download Java button. Now they have two versions as of now, the Java 21 and the Java 17. Uh, you could actually install uh, multiple JDKs of the different version. Um, for, for now, we're just going to install the JDK 21, which is the latest one. So under here, you have Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Go ahead and click on Mac OS. For Apple Silicon Max, grab the ARM64 DMG installer. For Intel, just grab the X64. So I already grabbed the ARM64 installer. Now to install that, simply run the package and go ahead with the defaults. It's gonna ask you for your admin password. And that's it. Uh, move the trash, cool, perfect. Now if I open up the terminal again and type Java version now I get this message so I now have the uh, Java 21.02 version installed and it's all running well so to test this out uh, let's try the compiler so I have a simple Java uh, file here uh, it's simply printing out the hello world now if I go to that location see the documents and run the compiler Java C and hello world. This is going to compile that Java code into a class, which is the binary. Now, if I type in Java hello world, it's going to print out the print string here. So we know that's working. So that's how you install Java JDK on your machine. Now, if you see some tutorials explaining how to add it to the path, you only need to add it to the path if you have another main version of Java installed. So if you have JDK 17 and you want it to point to JDK 17, that's the time you mess around with the path. So if I go down to the installation instructions here and for and go under JDK annotations here, um, if it's the main version, like um, 21.01 it would override that for the main version but you could install a different main version if you know what I mean now to get the path where the JDK is you could check out the uninstalling JDK so by default all the JDKs would be located on this directory so if you open up your finder and say go go to folder and paste that in you would see that this is the location of that JDK. So if I install JDK 17 here, I would see another file here. Now I would need to point to that JDK. For example, I had 17 installed here. And then I need to save this either to my bash um, file or to my zis.crh file. And then when I run Java dash dash version, it should point to that JDK. So I'll drop those uh, steps on the description below. 
if you have multiple versions of uh, JDK installed. Or you could just have one JDK installed by uninstalling the other version and that would make your life easier as well. Cool. So that's a tip. Hope you like this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.